impromptu setup here. I apologize for all the various different links and uh, attempts to make this work, but we've got uh, we've got Hello. Baz. We've got part of Jane. Oh just the very corner of her, right there. Hello, Jane! Hey. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, oh, and we gotta be careful because I've got cables everywhere because we've had to like spread out hello, one, one audio output to three of us. And we're all gonna watch the first episode that I ever appeared in on Stargate. Which I don't think any of us have ever seen. Have you seen I've, it? I have seen it, I'll admit. But it was a long, it was a thousand I years ago. And I just, I just fast forwarded to, to, to my parts anyways. So, uh, so everyone knows, this is uh, this is episode 14, season 5, I think it's disc 4, if you're going by discs, if you're that old. Um, you know. What's is up? everyone able to hear us? Can everyone hear us, yes. Because our look. mic, I just noticed, is a little far away. Oh, is it? Should we move the mic a little forward? Oh, let's move it forward then. Oh, maybe Baz should do it, because he knows where all the cables are and everything. Not that I don't trust you. He's the cable queen in this house. Yes, it sounds good. Oh, sorry. Oh, sound is good. It was until Baz hit the desk. It was until I just you hit everything. You guys are pretty clear. Good. Ah, Baz, Baz is sure it's already popular. Old? <laughs> Speak for yourself, David. Uh, I am. <laughs> I literally am. Um, quality is awesome. Oh, thanks, Jack. Good. Uh, everybody, I just have to do a big shout out to Jack and to Cal, who've just helped so much in making all this possible. I'm gonna sit down. And the whole reason for this thing is to thank, <laughs> is to get my family to stop talking. No, is to, I'm, so is to sorry. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> is to thank our patrons and our subscribers uh, and all of the Stargate fans, frankly, but, but specifically the people who've been kind enough to sort of jump in and help with this Tech Bandits thing and to help with, um, with our with our Twitch channel, which we're really, yeah. I gotta say, we're really enjoying that. So we thought, what better way to bring in 2020 mm -hmm. than with a disastrously organized <laughs> um, a live viewing? So the idea is basically, we'll tell you when to press play, and you can start it. You won't hear it or see it, so we don't go to jail. Mm -hmm. um, so and uh, and we'll get some live <laughs> live perspective. Baz, I think you're taking Mum's ears. I'm sorry. I just wanna, I just wanna... Do you wanna move that back a bit here? Right exactly. Oh, camera's moving. I got a robot in the way. Okay, how's that? If I go, oh, there we go, there we go. How's, oh, oh God. Oh, more, more, Poor more. Poor people like it Earthquake! Oh, it's fun. I can do my own effects. No, David, no. Dad, 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 Dad. you dad. at the other end of that. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm trying to get it the right place. How do we see? Is that Mum? Mum, I want to see Mum yeah. as well. Yeah, we, we uh, have to do a three to Mum is one way countdown. prettier than all of us. I, I can step behind that. There you go. How's that? Ah, look at that. But are we going to be comfortable for 48 hours? Okay. okay, so what do you <laughs> think? <that> so, <laughs> Hello, just Acid Horus. we are watching episode 14 of SG-1? Of season... It's SG-1, but season... Four or five? Five. Season, season five. five, episode 14 of SG-1? Yeah. Stealthy Druid, thank you so much for the follow. It means a lot that you've been with, with us for seven months. Stealthy Druid's everywhere. That's insane. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um... So, should we give everyone a countdown? Okay, imbrex has got the DVD is ready. Is everyone's DVD ready? Is everyone ready to play? Ask or says on what is. network. It's on your Imbrex own computer. But honestly, we're going to do so much talking that you could probably, you could probably won't so understand what hear what's going on anyway. But we'll see. Ready? Stop we're going. Splatix go. isn't allowed to watch. He's still at the second season of SG-1. Oh, I'm Jello. pretty sure it's not going to have to. The only spoiler is that I show. Spoilers? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're about to start it. Okay. Everyone ready? Here we go. Yeah. Star. I clicked the I wrong. Clicked I, the wrong, I, I clicked the wrong ready. mouse. It's Star mouse. Saber, thank you so much for the resub for three months. Woo -hoo. Woo! All right, here we go. Forty-eight hours. The it's first three. viewing oh, of McKay. Cool. Two. On Prime. One. One. Go. One. Why didn't it stop? Oh, we glitched. Uh, Why is it? Play. Press play. Press play. Okay. Oh, here Woo! we go. Okay, I gotta go back a bit because we, we missed the beginning. Okay, ready? I recognize that. Okay, three, three two, two one, one, go! All right. Oops, That's sorry. a Stargate for sure. That's definitely a Stargate. Yeah. Bass has never seen this before. Oh, full screen. There you go. Tilk! Whoopee! Hey, Doug, I mean Chris. <laughs> We've got stories about Chris already, doesn't everyone? Ah, <laughs> oh, the dust gets in your eyes. Terrible stuff. Who's who? Okay. <laughs> that Look, so that's MacGyver. <laughs> Not MacGyver. Oh my god, that's O'Neill. O'Neill. What's that? Right. Who are these guys? Oh, oh we stopped. Why did we oh, stop? No. What happened? 
We stop, but carry on. So basically, that is a PhD. That's I know all about those. That is the lovely and talented Amanda Tapping. Yeah, Amanda Tapping, Sam Carter. Is that a Stargate? That is a Stargate. That is a Stargate, yes. And that was the Event Horizon. So we're all going to go racing through that, but Tilk is hanging back with his giant gun. Yeah, as he did. That's it. Those P90s aren't going to do it. Whoa. Tilk is a... Here we go. All right. Which episode we're watching? We're watching 48 hours, it's called. Tilk is an alien, but he's teamed up with the humans traveling through the Stargates, which take them around the universe. We're on episode 14, t Rish. I'm going to take off one here. Wow, phone. it has been a really long time since I've seen this. Wow, okay, so one through. Tilk's hanging back. Oh, it's face-off time. His arch nemesis. I can't remember his name. What was his name? He just looked like Famous he Famous Guaul. Died. Tanith. There you go. It was Tanith. Oh, did he just wow. die? Do you know why Tanith was killed? Did he just die? Because they couldn't get the... The actor was too expensive, so they had to kill him. Oh no! Yeah. Did they just kill Tanith? Is that for Tanith real? is dead. Who's but where's Tilk? In that shot. Don. Oh, oh Don Davis. Oh, Don Davis. Uh oh. But this. But look on the plus side. I'm gonna show up. Oh, music. Check this out. This is the the oh. best thing. Not the best thing. Other than me, the best thing in Stargate. <laughs> Is probably the other opening, than lots of things. The opening sequences. Yeah. Yeah, I love the title sequence. Done. Teal. Wait, is it Teal C? Yes. Yes, it's true. Ne- Neutromancer, you're right. Christopher Judge was on an episode of MacGyver. <laughs> Michael Shanks, we love him. Amanda Tapping, the amazing Amanda Tapping. What do we got? What do you? Like ah, at? this show just watched Dawn on X Files. Yes, of course. Yeah, the music's amazing. I love the whole Stargate music. Come on, like this part. Which was... All right, so if you're still trying to sync up, we're at we're Michael the executive Greenberg producers. and Richard Dean Anderson yeah. EPs. Yeah. We're at we're the at weird face. The wow. giant face. The face. Brad Wright and Jonathan Glasner. Okay, we're developed for TV. That's where we're, that's where we're at right now. We just finished the opening sequence? The yeah, opening we did. Huh. Yes. Jack Jasper used to be able to play this on the piano, apparently. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. That's right? insane. Hey, why is his head hurting? Well, I think he got blown to the ground, didn't he? Oh, oh but it wasn't Gary. hurting before. David Taylor! Woo! Who's that guy? Yeah. <laughs> Who's that guy? Mac- and that's Harriman. Macbeth? That's, that's the, the, they call him the Chevron guy. Isn't it? Well, they start, no, Harriman. don't dial! Don't dial! Why don't dial? Because Tilk is still in there. What do you mean Tilk is still Tilk's in Tilk's in, he's between the two, he's in the buffer that holds all the stuff. Unknown error. So if they die, he'll die? He'll die. Say no! Say no! Yes! Uh-oh. No, TLC! Walter? Which one's Walter? Is that Walter? No. Is that Walter? No. Who's Walter? Who's Walter? Walter Harriman is the guy who, who's the... He's, oh, he's, right. No, Gary, Gary Jones. Gary he's Jones, He's the, yeah. the computer. He's the one who's dialing the gate right now. We need to send that boy. He was the SG Academy selection. Wait, is the Stargate just spinning this whole time, waiting for the next Chevron? Is the Stargate just spinning this whole time, waiting for the next Chevron? Yes. Whew. TLC. But I'll tell you, they're lucky there was such a long time between... Yeah. Was it Chevron 5 and 6? The people who are outside the Stargate must be very confused. Oh, I remember that set. Zeno says they're getting an echo. Who's getting an echo? Zeno's apparently. Is anyone else getting an echo? From us? <gasps> Wait, I know why. <laughs> Sorry, guys, for the echo. It's because my screen is on here. Oh, John Delancey. I forgot that John Delancey's on this. This is where I met John Delancey as well. Is this better, guys? Drink. Right, you got that? Mm. <laughs> Gate travel 101, folks. Everybody looks so young. I know everyone looks very young, it's true. Mm-hmm. Not me, though. I mean, Amanda hasn't changed it. Amanda doesn't look any different at all, to be honest.
to the receiving end. Why did you choose an episode where Mercade plays an actual... That's no energy pattern! That's Tilk! Did it destroy the other Stargate that was Yeah, question? we saw it blow up. You saw it blow up? Yeah. Oh, okay. I saw fire. I wasn't sure if I saw the... Hey, why don't I have a Coke? Oh, sorry. Why don't I have a non no-name drink? Hey, Peter Dope! Louise! Excuse me. I think you directed this episode, too. Hmm. Did he do that cool? There's, there's a worse problem. There's never one problem. There's always got to be a bunch. In what episode was McKay not obnoxious? Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me? <laughs> um, How did I would feel say none of them. Come to the show? I was... How remember you... Remember you... Maybe Jane used to have this too, rule also... that, that I had 15 minutes when I got home to lose McKay. Otherwise, she'd... I'd lose her, basically. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, I'd come home and I'd be like, hey, Jane. And you'd be like, uh-uh, not having <laughs> any of it. Um, what should we do? Should we pause and say things or should we just talk throughout? Now, nah, just talk throughout. Commentaries yeah, yeah. are more fun that way. Baz won't understand what's going on, though. Baz is drooling everywhere. The legend Shammy, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Oh, thanks, Jane. Shammy's throwing his bits around again. I wasn't drooling. I was drinking, and then I noticed that somebody said something. Right. Right. I've kind of lost the plot already. So is Tilt coming out? So Tilt's stuck in there, but we got to get him out fast oh, before sure. basically the buffer clears and he's a he's dead dead man. Oh, Cooper! <laughs> it was Cooper. I thought it was yeah, Cooper. Yeah, you wrote knew it was one. Cooper because he yeah. was the one who liked what? killing traders. What? How do we? Is this? Can we get rid of Dicks in chat? Is that possible? <laughs> Done. <laughs> Thank you, Arnie. Oh, uh, yeah. That's an interesting approach to it. Was that McKay's? No, no, no. Okay. Thanks for ever did that. Really, really nice. Yeah, well done. So wrong. Always someone says a net well, Don't even say your name. Uh, we're not even giving... Who cares? Uh... Oh, boy. I think McKay was better in Atlantis than a stew one. Well, better as a person, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> better as a person, but boy, it was fun being in. Can we throw out a timestamp every now and again? Oh, throw out a timestamp. What do we got? Oh, I just spilled my coke. Uh, oh, we're at 7.58. Eight. Eight, eight, eight minutes. Eight minutes, exactly. Good call. <laughs> the usual. The usual, I like that. He's always unconscious. <laughs> Step that way if you were. Uh, oh, here we go. We're going to find out why he's still in the game. Jonas, thank you so much for the five gifts. Thank you, Jonas. Thank you. Okay. I'm coming in for my coffee. Oh. We just keep switching. Yeah. I'll just hold it now. I love it when Jack O'Neill has to listen to anybody talk about technical stuff. Because he just can't keep still. <laughs> it's like talking to Jane about, you know, Magic the Gathering. You can only see the. <laughs> I like McKay's experience as a brilliant character arc between his first appearance as he was the start of Atlantis. He went from the most annoying scientist on our galaxy to the scientist always saving the day in Pegasus. At least he wasn't it's destroying so the solar true. system. Thank you. I only destroyed part of it. By oh, the coffee! Way. Love Jane's beverage of choice, <laughs> especially in my mug. My well, to be fair, O'Neill just recommended that, just asked if, uh, if Sam wanted a cup of coffee. He didn't have a cup. I'm sure he didn't have a cut the first time. They had a really cool mechanical Stargate. We had the kind of what oh, I call wow. the disco Aaron, Stargate. Maybe give us, is that stock footage? And Russia. Now, what, ten minutes? They, they don't think they went to Russia. Yeah. Or <laughs> next minute so we could... You're now at ten minutes. Okay, well we so, just have ha. to keep... Putting the, okay, it's 9.39, so, so 20 seconds. Want us to pause we'll at pause 10 at minutes? pause at 10, yeah, pause at 10 minutes. And then minutes. everyone tell us their time and try to finish at All 10. All right, ready? 48, 49, we're in Russia now. We're in Russia. When do you show up? Who knows? Nine. Do I show up ten. on this one? There you go, we're at 10 minutes. We're ten, 10 minutes, minutes everybody. Exactly 10, 10 minutes. minutes even. And don't forget the new Doctor Who tonight on BBC. Thank you, Annette Band. Oh, that's right. New yeah. season starts tonight. we got to catch up on last season first. Happy New Year from <laughs> Germany. Thank you very much. Um, Happy New Year from Canada. 
we should probably let a timer run in uh, OBS next time. Good point, Jack. All right, so what do we got so far? So we've got Jack is trapped in the gate. No, Teal is Jack. Teal Jack! Is, uh, yes, right. <laughs> Jack, Teal'c is, no! Jack, not Jack! Jack! Um, it's all a dream! Um, no. Okay, so Teal is trapped in the gate. I've forgotten, though. Why did they go to Russia? Because that was the, the that was master gate on Earth. So they needed to go to start. They Although, to go how to Russia. did D- Daniel get there that fast? Did he go through a gate? We pa- we, yeah, we paused it at ten minutes, Larry. We are oh, exactly yeah. paused at exactly ten minutes. Yeah. Oh, we're we're um, recapping. Maybe someone can Jean, tell me what's going on. JBL Speedy, thank you so much for the sub. It means a lot. Oh, thank you very much. Bass is keeping uh, track of all our subs. So, yeah. So yeah. So so why are we in Russia? We're in Russia trying to negotiate for them to not use Open their the gate, gate and oh, clear our again. thing, right? Legend. Legend, thank Jimmy. you so much for the gift. Oh. Five gifted subs it really means a lot for supporting our stream. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, Kung so Fu Legend continues. My goodness, oh my god, Kung Fu Legend continues. A while. <laughs> wow, that is going back a long. Tell well, us whenever have to do that everyone's a, ready. Do a replay. Are we ready we for that? We're going to continue. Yeah, I think that's probably. Everyone's do we have our Patreons on here as well? By the way, okay for this. Well, Dad, we have a hundred... Yeah, Stargate physics is confusing. I'll say, try explaining ZPMs to people. That's like, you get into this whole quantum mechanics and (laughs) zero-point energy, forget it. I think I once referred to it as a universe in a bottle. I I ran so many lines with David over the years that I do know more about the Stargate universe than I thought I Mm. would ever take on board. Got one Patreon. Plus, I was actually at the launch. Oh yeah, what is the very first? While we're here, I brought this down. Let me grab it. (laughs) I actually knew. Jane, tell us the story about this. Check this out, folks. Well, so that is the centerpiece from the uh, bar tables at the launch party at the DGC building in Los Angeles for the very first uh, episode of Stargate SG-1. So they made their own out of... So um, (laughs) they had these fabulous gate-inspired... Oh, no, I've turned it the wrong way. That way, yeah. Gate-inspired... centerpieces with it actually just has a little battery in there and it's a flashlight it's just a flashlight even led because yeah, yeah. it's that old but, it but has... um i went to the party i actually missed the screening um because i was working late that night but i went to the party afterwards and well i had rather a habit of uh well being among the last to leave and taking some of the decorations with me jane has um, <laughs> an awful lot of decorations from various opening parties and so, luckily she decided one, to steal this one i as kept well. for for jet yeah, for fun and then how many she many years long. later like five six years later i met david and then about a year after we got together david got the Atlantis. So you'd already How done this episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. By the time we met, but and that's just so he walked weird. It, the first time he came over to my place, he was like, "Wait, what is that, and why do you have it?" Yeah, because um, so I'd done an episode, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Because Chris Judge was actually a friend of ours. Our man, twenty-four. Thank you so much for the two hundred one bits. Oh wow! Oh, thank you. Wow. Oh, now I see where you're reading that from. I was and we've got a I'm Discord channel. Yeah. Do you yeah, have no, the Discord channel amazing. going as well? Yep. Yeah, there's the Discord just over there. Okay. Should we start the show again? We should start the show again. Okay. We're at ten minutes. Legend Shammy. Oh, thank Jill, you I'm for the hundred bits. Jill, I'm going to forget that you mentioned three quarters of a solar system destroyed. Everyone really holds me up on that one. Okay, ready? We're going to go. We're at ten minutes. We're going to start again. Ten minutes, starting in three, two, one, go. We're in Russia. Thank you for the hundred bits again. (laughs) Everyone's was a friend of yours. Who directed this episode? We we were meant to be absolutely. (laughs) Who directed Mm. it? Well, let me go to 95% my phone to of McKay's plans are deadly is still deadly. <laughs> ha! Yeah. SG5, SG8 are already home. Thank you for the two bits, Legend Shammy. Shanks is a handsome man, I gotta say. <laughs> that Shanks. Handsome guy. Armin, thank you for the two Peter bits. Peter Woese directed it? Oh my god, really? Or Peter DeLuise directed it? I thought it was DeLuise. Was... No, there we go. Who was it? Peter Woest. It was Peter Woest. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. 
Yeah. The Legend Jimmy, thank you for the two bits. Tonight. Armin, thank you for the one bit. <laughs> oh, O'Neill's asleep in the... I love the cafeteria, I gotta say. <laughs> Isn't it a mess? Probably a mess, sorry. I don't know. Just... What a mess. <laughs> No, Is no, he no. sad? Uh, he said, well, because Teal to the gate. Joseph. <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, Michael Shanks Thank is indeed talented as well as good looking. Yes, sorry, he's talented <laughs> too, but my God. Oh, and Colin Cunningham is amazing. Is, is amazing too, to be fair. Blue Jello, I thought. Five minutes of quality sleep. That's like our life right now. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Donna's Did McKay dead. like eating a lot because of you? Actually, you always hate eating on camera, don't you? I hate eating on camera. He hates, hates eating in front of other people in yeah. general. The pineapple. We must find the pineapple. That was our friend, uh, our DOP friend. Our, uh, sorry, now a, now a director. Will? Will. Yeah, yeah, it was Will. Did the pineapple? He used to hide pineapples all over the episodes. Oh. All right. Oh, these, these, hey, Delancey. And is who's that, that you? who is that man with all that hair? <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, I look like a child. He looks so different. Oh, he does. Okay, yeah, he, does. Maybe he really bit. does. Oh, look at that cute thing. <laughs> look at the 90s hair. <laughs> <laughs> right from the start. Baby right Rodney. Right from the start. Attitude. Okay. <laughs> yeah, flaws. Like I said. <laughs> Me and Delancey being jerks. Look at that little puppy dog eyes. Me, that is. Oh. Delancey was so scary. I loved him, but he was so, such an impressive guy. Don S. Davis was just like having your grandfather with you. It was great. And Sam Carter. <laughs> Amanda Tapping was like absolutely the most understanding, amazing person to possibly get to work with, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's us in the background. And you're already telling her how it is. <laughs> Daniel Mugan, thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> Baz is still tracking the bits. Oh god! In this episode, McKay's a bit of an a-hole. Well, thank you, Jonas. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Karen just watched Scanners too. Oh boy, oh, wow. that was some hair. Whew. Yeah, the data. Hmm. <laughs> Where are the lemons when you need them? <laughs> the politics. Is that David I found the Nickel politics. online under the Mad Q? Why? Handle. He keeps saying that Zelenka doesn't get enough credit. <laughs> I don't know. No, there's actually. Believe it or not, there's actually some uh, Zelenka fans out there. <laughs> hey, Seagulls and Sarah film. Thank you, Legend Jamie, for the 100 bits. Is Jonah Coronemic? Could be. That is exactly why you're here. Thank you for the 99 bits, Armin. Why do we need the Stargate? Crazy conspiracy, you and Dalton. But it just blew up, right? Maybe it's over there. <gasps> A shot outside? We never got to go outside. <laughs> Armin, it's always raining, it. that's why. <laughs> you rat bastard. Oh. I'm so gonna kick your ass. I love Is that Zelenka? Why can't they get a Who's that? Car? Didn't shoot I you. don't know this storyline. No, I don't know this storyline either. We're going to have to go way back. He got shot in the gold. 
<laughs> I love Colorado mug. Springs in North Vancouver. <laughs> Zeno, thank you. I think there's a mug for Dad, but Mayborn. we always steal Mayborn. each other's mugs. So. Love the Mayborn arc over the series. Who is Mayborn? Tell us who Mayborn is, people. Colonel Mayborn, isn't that the Corin Nemex character? No, no, Mayborn's this guy. Oh, this guy. Isn't this Mayborn? Oh. I'll go back to my trusty IMDb. <laughs> mm. Tom McBeath. Mayburn used to Long arc over the seasons. Ah. Oh, McBeath. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let McKay evolve. He will steal your donuts. Oh, he's a watchman. Mm. What? We like watchmen. Mm hmm. I'm the one who recruited him. Huh. Mm. Man, this we gotta go back. We're five seasons out of touch on this. Yeah. Look at that computer. It's very high hey, tech. It's got all those ergonomic keyboards. Look how thin I was too. <laughs> was that that cranberry and olive oil diet, wasn't it? Yeah, it was that weird. Flat oh, was that? Oh, yeah. Sexual tension. My fan club, they're here right now. <laughs> Just a little tension. Yeah, Ruby K, you're right. You are the fan club. We well. are the fan club. Fan cub. I like that. Fan cubs. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's true. You're wrong. And Baz's fan club. Aw, thank you. Hmm. Wow, Baz, Cat pork. I think Thank most importantly, you know what that is? Best. That's a telephone, Baz. Yeah. That is a... Telephones don't exist anymore. With cables. With cables and stuff. Well, they do. Oh, my gosh. Is that a 400 bits cap pork? Baz and Jane fan here, too, says Pac Mom. Oh. Pac Mom says that she's a fan of Baz and Jane, too. Oh. A telephone. <laughs> See, Ooh. the voice goes down that oh, cable. Oh, thank you, Pac Mom. <laughs> What? They're going to give back Alaska? Isn't... Hmm. Watch Bass to try to figure out how to dial going after a DHD, a big thing dial. of your... Oh, of Atlantic. Going after a DHD? Yeah. The ZPMs are my big thing. Oh, it was ZPMs. There's all ZPMs. I don't think ZPMs come into What's play here. What's that whirly whirly thing called? Just kidding, I was born. Yeah, it's true. Day. Compared to the Pegasus Galaxy, the Milky Way's are uh, dial up dial up phones. So true. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jeff Lex. Wow. Thank you. A couple Thank you for your two bricks. Wow. Now what? Good lord, what did you do for the sixteen? It's so funny because I was here while they did all of this filming. You were in the room? I was like sitting in the other room, like hanging out. Trying to remember all my lines. <laughs> <laughs> reading. Oh, that was the other thing. So I got... What, so what time are we at? We should do a pause for yeah, people so they can catch up. Me. We'll do a pause at... Oh, 20. Pause that's good. 20. That's, We're at 21? We'll pause at 21. Pausing at 21 minutes. Like I'll every, tell you a story. Every 10 minutes, and then we'll do like a three or five, five three to five minute break. Every what? 10 minutes? A break? Okay. Yep. The lighthouse just came out in Blu-ray. Oh, back in the old days when crimes were that mm. easy. <laughs> Baz, have you seen a real dial phone? Delancey, he's just got a face that just screams betrayal, doesn't he? Hello to Germany. Hello, Germany! This comes down to removing DHCs. Oh, wait, it's past... 
Wow, that was a great description, Dev. Okay, Play. that's twenty. Dev's Play's got a great description. This episode comes down to removing the DHD's master crystal to open the event horizon without connecting to an active wormhole, forcing the SGC. Ah, it scrolled. It scrolled. <laughs> no, Dad, you can. Uh, forcing the SGC gate to re rematerialize. Cookie two. time. Got it. <laughs> yes. Ha! Mr. Deadly Jujin is saying we should make this a monthly thing for Atlantis. I guess we could try. Yeah. We could try doing that. Uh, how many months would that be, though? A hundred. A hundred months. A hundred months. Yeah. My God, I'll look like Don S. Davis by the end of that. Um, <laughs> That's six years, isn't it? No kidding, right? Uh, okay, so my story, no. which is very important. Everyone yeah. stop everything. I have a story. Okay, yes. Okay. Yes. So my story is I... I I arrived in Vancouver a, a day or two early, I believe, and I wanted to know everything I could about Stargate. We were season five in. I needed to know what was going on. I'd only watched the odd episode here and there. Um, and so I said, hey, is there some kind of information source that you have like a Bible that I could have a look at to get, I want to know all the, I want to know everything. So like about a day later, Deliver a delivery arrives Over at my at my time. little apartment thing that they rent for you, and it's this. It's probably about it's about this big, and it is a full printout of the Gate World glossary and uh, what was it? The Gate World, the Wikipedia, basically. And I was like, oh my god! And I think it was just like one of those things where they're like, you want to know everything? Good luck, kid. Um, because I was like, Naquita, what's Naquita, and how do we, how do you even say it? Oh um, there was just so many things. And so I'm flicking through this glossary, trying to learn as much as I possibly could. And then um, I, was with, uh, I was with Amanda, and I was with um, Michael Shanks. And they were both like talking me down, because I was like, I don't understand half of this stuff. And uh, they are both like, look, well, believe me, someone will tell you if you're saying it wrong. Just try to do it. And so my, my, my approach was to just talk as fast as I possibly could so that if, if, if by chance I made a mistake, no one would notice it. Little did I know that everyone was going to watch it like a thousand times and find every little thing I could possibly do wrong. Anyway, so that was my, um, that was my experience. And that was also my, um, that's when I discovered GateWorld.net, which was just from then on in was like my place to go for, for, I used to go there to get Stargate information, even though I was working on Stargate. They knew stuff before the cast did in many cases. So amazing, amazing site. And it's still an amazing site, I gotta say. So uh, there you go. Gate World, true. I want to copy this magical encyclopedia. Uh, Seagulls, it's on like just go to go to gateworld.net. Yeah. They've got everything. It's unbelievable. And they've also got an amazing online where community where happen? when they first announced <laughs> that um, that uh, McKay was gonna come and be like a regular on Atlantis, Are there was this huge like just know? this like Groan, collective groan from the from the um, from the chat forum, and I was on there at the time. I can't remember what I went in as, but I was there, sort of like, just sort of like listening and lurking and stuff. And and at one point, someone said, "Why of all the people would they choose McKay to come back?" And I actually piped in and said, "Like, yeah, no kidding. What a weird choice." Uh, something like that. So I actually ended up posting posting about my own arrival back when it was it was announced Happy New many, Year, many, Digital Senior. many many years ago. And Anyways. Dad. David, where did the finger snapping come from? Me. Yeah. I snap. I, I snap say. my fingers. I just. I, do I was going to say. Yeah. And, and that, isn't it? Yeah. It was the snapping and the fast talking. The lemon allergy was totally uh, a Rob Cooper thing, which I thought was just amazing. I love that because there's just like something about having like such a. He's so incredibly vulnerable for a guy who just obviously doesn't think about it. So, um, all right, we're 21 minutes in. Yeah. So we're exactly 21 minutes in. We're going to start again. Did oh, sorry, yes. El Floruso has just downloaded the episode. We are at 21 minutes. Dad, Oops. did Don Shea or Dan Shea? Dean? Dan Shea. Shea? Yeah, Dan what about Shea? Dan Shea? Do any of your stunts? Dan uh, he was too tall to do David's stunts. <laughs> he was too tall and fit. Yeah, um, oh, that's not true. No. But do you remember no, that time like... they brought in the body double and you were like, wait. That's me? I, that's what I That's what like. I look like? Um... <laughs> Uh, and then they glued my little mole on the back of his neck, too, which is really gross. Um, no, the guy I had who did my stunts was the guy who used to double um, uh, Williams, Robin Williams. Oh, when Robin Williams right. filmed yes. in Vancouver, 
he would this guy would yeah. double him and it was the same and that's I've, there's a few people I get recognized as mistaken for mistaken for I prefer recognized as <laughs> I call it cosplay yeah um, do you watch Robin Williams the first time was Tarantino yeah I, I you get that a lot but it's just because of the, there's something about the chin or something um, and then they came out to, they were like oh my god I love all of your stuff I was like <gasps> somebody watches my stuff they said oh no you're not Tarantino I was like no um <laughs> And then the next first time I was recognized in Hollywood was for this episode of Stargate. And I couldn't believe it. This guy came up and he was like, he's like, oh my God, like, I love the show. What, you were on the show, the sci-fi and the, the blonde and the, and the, I was like, the sci-fi and the blonde? What are you, like, that narrows it down a bit. He goes, you know, the, the, the famous one. And I was like, Stargate? He goes, oh my God, Stargate. It was like, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's the first time I'd ever got recognized. So I realized suddenly how big yeah. this whole thing was, sir. Well, when you did that, yeah. hit me in the I waved eye. it around a bit. Okay. All right. Well, we're 21 minutes in, so let's start again. 21 minutes in. So we're starting in three, two, one, go. Boom. 21 minutes in. Delancey, Delancey and Don De it's S. Davis are doing some... Thinking. Thinking acting. Who is it? Who's used to say... It's uh, um, Nathan Fillion. Nathan Fillion. That's right. Nathan Fillion had a had a... A way of talking about those scenes where he said like you have to there's different ways of going through it and you learn a lot of about acting on on um soaps on soap operas by it was the ending the scene if you were the shot scene. that was going to go to commercial yeah then you had to have the you had to look the who farted look just who, farted? who farted look did i was it you? just watch and then finally a dog was it you? <laughs> yeah. yeah i loved that it was it was the it was a, did someone life? fart i think i smell a fart Great, Did you me. fart? <gasps> was it me? Those are all the different looks you go yeah. through in order to do that. Oh, I do back. remember his storyline. Yeah. The legend Shammy. What? Rip Jen Hammond? Hammond? What's that? Hammond. Oh, I know. Yeah. Hammond is Don yeah, Davis. Yeah, Don S. He's Davis. The, he passed away. The lovely commander. Oh, I'm glad you liked a dog's breakfast. I think so, too. <laughs> Who loved a dog's breakfast? Lots of people. Darling Clementine. Days. Very good. Yes. And Miss Linz. Joey from Friends says, say you're smelling the fart. Nice. <laughs> there are some pretty dodgy accents in this show. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the Russian? A Russian permanently stationed at the base. Nice. Well, now they could just steal it. Now they just steal it without telling us. What? Why wouldn't they? And what is Jack do? What is... What is Jack? Why do you keep Jack. saying Jack? Because it's the easiest thing to say. I love McCann's. Who is that behind? Who is that staring at the wall or talking to a plant? I'd be that guy. Hmm. See? What is that guy doing talking to the plant? Oh! Hey! He was waiting for his line. <laughs> Did it look like he was talking to a plant? Oh my god, well, he's a plant. I probably knew there was a. Yes. <laughs> My wife and I are big fans of Ted Murray, one of our, one of our faves. Mm. Treat Murray, wow. Oh, oh that's great. Right. Now that's our first. And Miss Lintz watched me in Traders. Oh my God, wow. Still no HD version of a Dog's Breakfast trailer though. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Well, given that we cut that together at home. Oh my God, we? we literally did it at home. It's true. Yeah. My favorite show. Uh, so. Dev's Play's favorite SG-1 episode was Widow, Window, Window of, of Opportunity, opportunity. <laughs> just because of the line, I'm working on my backswing. <laughs> was Don... Don had a place in Vancouver. Yeah. Don had a place in Vancouver that he rented out, and someone turned it into a grow-up. When he came in to clean up after they'd moved out, he discovered that they just... They used up all the electricity, <laughs> and, and, and the place was just full of mold. Thank you for the host. Oh, the shrine was a good one. Disclosure. Damn, this is a lesson that I always forget to learn. Never do a live discussion While drink drinking a pop because you just you end up like burping and hiccuping the whole time. 
after he gets caught, he gets caught. It's the most painful thing when it comes in. Oh, he goes in your nose. Oh, that's the worst. Richard Dean Anderson was SG-1. Well, mm -hmm. Amanda Chapman was SG-1. Actually, they were all SG-1. The whole point about SG-1 was they just yeah, had great just characters. Great all of them. And, frankly, just lovely people. Too. What's the time at? Oh, my God. Look at that screen. It is at 25.18. So we'll stop again at 30. I think I look at that mind. old... That is an old Mac. I used to have that Mac. <laughs> oh, my God. I love seeing these screens. North Dakota ain't exactly on the way. Ah! Jello? Jello. <gasps> Blue, Blue Jello! Jello! Don't you take. Better not be lemon cheesecake. <laughs> Here we go. By Magical Fairy. Best line ever. Why isn't he a regular? <laughs> Is there a I had not realized that it was established that long ago. Oh, yeah. That was like how, I think at Carter, well, at some point Carter actually tells me to Is go suck a lemon. Is there a lemon on that yes. chicken? Yes, yeah. yes. That poor guy. And it does how long has he been working at, S at the Stargate Command, you know? I don't know. He gets a credit on the IMDb, though. Dad, how does the food taste? It was good. High focus, see the reaction. He is me. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He wrote you before you became you. I know, it's true. <laughs> Favorite person in the description to brush your clothes that has serious depth, and I'm not making a pun there. I can imagine how I would go a little insane oh, yeah. at the bottom of a. Oh, grace and depression. The look on her face there indicates that what she just ate was not good. <laughs> that sounds really cool. Uh, Dev's play. Grace and depression was a fun episode. I remember it being on set. evidence. It's what's called quantitative evidence. Weird way to hold your spoon. He's very charming. Weird way to hold your spoon. Is what? That what do you mean a weird way of holding my spoon? That's how I hold my spoon. What are you talking about? Apparently, it's not What's the that? correct way to help. No, hold it's not spoon, English way of holding Dad. it. Dad. But he's not English. He's Canadian. He is? <laughs> Amanda is amazing and funny and sweet mm -hmm. and she charming. She truly is. Like, honestly, there's no way this McKay character would have worked if she hadn't let me play the way I did. We just achieved the ach uh, achievement, talk to me. So we've got like a hundred people talking about I came up with the 48 hour deadline? I forgot about that. You ass. What? What? You're supposed to be on my, you're my wife. You're supposed yeah. to be on my side. There Not you go, go suck a lemon. Oh, I missed it, I missed it. Go suck a lemon. Very sexy is your response. <laughs> Very, it's actually very sexy. I'm missing all the good parts. I'm brilliant. You're I'm missing it all. <laughs> Where are we now? Oh, look at that video camera. That high tech and That is seriously high tech. Insane. Those monitors. Remember those when monitors were like this thick? Always keep I had a one lemon in your at hand. Yeah. yeah. One of those little VCO things that I could You should on. get like the most powerful mm -hmm. weapon for the aliens against my dad is like maybe like a citrus shooter or like <laughs> orange juice. Wow. This is some serious tech. Lemonade! You get like a water gun and fill it with lemonade and it can like hurt my dad more than a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> that damn squirrel. <laughs> uh -oh. Joe's down. Joe? Who's Joe? I always like Joe. <laughs> Those cameras are pretty useless if you can't see them. You can't see it. Yeah, they can't, it's not much security cameras if there's no actual... Oh, oh lights are out. Where are we now? Don't do that. There'll be someone hiding in there. There will? Backup generator's down. The new Where are we? The new Fortnite gun. The lemonade shooter. Oh, boy. 
Look out. Look out. It's breakout time. Well, so the darkness only actually affects the guy who's in the windowless room. Right, good point. <laughs> Everyone else is in daylight. <laughs> I forgot about this whole part. Well, I don't forgot. I, I of course, was nothing to do with it. Oh! Taser shot. Nice. Oh, that's a Special Zat gun. Effect. Is that a Zat gun? Is it a Zat gun? Taser. No, it's a Zat. The special I mean, they, effects. I don't think they had tasers back then, did they? <laughs> I know, right? That's a Zat. Zat. Definitely a Zat. A Are Zat indeed, look at that. See? Fortnite needs some Stargate Stargate skins, that's so true. How great would that be? Okay, have a McKay skin? The is the best. They should add, like, like portals, mm -hmm. but, like, Fortnite it's a Stargate. Two guys and left, guarding the cool. Another world. I'll tell you who needs some Stargate characters, and that's Pop figures. Oh, yeah, Pop! <laughs> Why hasn't Funko Pop done Stargate figures? Oh, Zat, look out. Why is he still pointing his gun the other way, though? Oh, <laughs> I feel like if someone shoots from over there, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, I remember those hooky things. Yeah, yes. oh, they're cool. And they used to, like, actually, like, come up. They look cool. I love the way them? they talk. I no. Now what? Mm. Is he that an is alien? a look of someone who doesn't want to tell you. Isn't it? That look of somebody We're back in Russia them. with that little doggy. Aww. Dog. Did it's a dog the best character? First shot stuns. Second kills. Third vaporizes. Fourth charbroils. Fifth irons your shirt. <laughs> Thanks, Nutrimancer. <laughs> oh, what time are we at? Are we, should we be pausing at 30? Oh. Oh, thir uh, we'll pause at 35. 30. Yeah. Sorry, Jack. Sorry, guys. We'll pause at 35. Yeah, Nakwa does this like this, this really. Or should we? Should we this pause? This material is incredibly good at storing energy. That's what the gates are made out of. Or should we pause when there's only uh, ten minutes left? Uh, okay, yeah. Yes, yeah, some people do create custom pops, and one amazing oh, person was, did a beautiful, beautiful. Oh my incredible. god, I'm so pissed off. I, it was. I was supposed to. I was at Dragon Con. I got given it this beautiful oh. McKay with a little with a little. Uh, yeah, ZPM, and ZPM and everything, and I said I had too much stuff to carry back, and I said, "Can you please, please make sure this gets sent back to me?" Never happened. Nakwada for Anubis. Go on, pronounce gold. Dad, how about on our store we make McKay Funko Pops? We could make we can make our own Funko Pops. No, they so eat one. Oh, yeah, like, I see. Oh, we should be, are we, are we 35? No, we should pause it when there's 10 minutes left. Okay, again. 1 minute and 13, we'll pause again, okay. We'll pause Man. when there is 10 minutes left in the show. Oh, tape on the mouth, I always hate that. So they always, like, put, um... Go old. Why, am I not saying it right? It's not real, Gaff. Did you remember how extras tried to out-pronounce go old? Go out. <laughs> Letting the gold out. What did you tell Simmons, buddy? Is he gonna tell glowing me? eyes, maybe? I love the glowing eyes. Is he a wraith? He's a go out. No, the wraith come later. The, the wraith room over in the Stargate. <laughs> Atlantis. Oh! Ow. Stun. What's a Goa'uld? Ah. <sighs> Boy, what's the best description of a Goa'uld? Someone describe <laughs> Goa'uld to my son. Goa'uld. Uh, they're symbiotes, aren't they? Or yes. Is that a different yeah, but there's different... There's, there's the Goa'uld, like the... They used it for a evil. A worm thing that takes over and the, the brain. Was it the Tok'ra who used it for good? Does that make sense? <laughs> a snake in your head. Okay. It's a worm thing that gets inside you and takes over your body. Oh, that's the actual Goa Wool Parrot uh, symbiote. Oh. Right, okay. We didn't have these on Atlantis. No. Well, we we, they, every so often we did, but it was, yeah. And the Tok'ra are the good versions. They're using the symbiotes for good, and the Goa Wool are using them for evil, basically, right? right. Yeah. Oh, boy. Don't mm. tell. Don't tick off MacGyver. A symbiote that takes like over all this body. Oh, Grace under pressure is a good one too. Yeah, that is Important true. Important to the system lords. A parasitic 
Fishies, thank you. I didn't get any of that information. <laughs> now he's got to turn back to facing over here for some reason. I guess because the camera's there. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way he comes to the room. <laughs> There's either a really tall person or a really short person there. <laughs> when they first gave you the P90s with the flashlights on them and oh, you yeah. walk in and you had to light up the set but you were yeah. never sort of pointing at the... We were supposed to light the set yeah. and they said shoot at the ceiling and this and that and get the reflections and of course it just meant that we were pointing details. guns. And, yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh, that's a VHS machine. Look at that. I will. What's that? Who's, who's, what's this? We missed the pause again. Oh, we missed the pause no. again. Oh, man, we suck. It's just too exciting. We'll stop at 36. Okay, okay so in fi 15 seconds. Nice work, Daniel. Done. Done. Oh, wow. That's, wow. That's quite the ultimatum. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so Russia's about to have access to all of our Stargate information. What? Anyone know whether there are any plans for a ZPM? I do stained glass and fancy making one. Uh, you know, uh, Lance Tyrell, there's ZPM um, Padre on um, Twit made one. There's a bunch of them out there, but they're yeah. mainly for 3D printing stuff, I think. Well, that would still give you the pieces, right? Yeah. I think, well, it's, still, it's usually in one, oh, it's like in one piece. Okay. So. Uh, and by the way, that farting sound is my son on the yoga ball, just yes. in case there's and any debate on that. Mom's <laughs> knees. Yeah. No, you make Or mom's knees. Yeah. Mom's knees make. Oh, well, no, 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 she's pushing her back so hard. Uh, ask wow. them at Stargate Reddit, they might know. Yes, you know what? Reddit, Stargate Reddit has a ton of info, so go check them out. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, there's a few things that if people are really into Stargate, it's you've got to go to gateworld.net. You've got to check out the Stargate Reddit. There's tons of stuff there. Um, and uh, I quite enjoy uh, the Stargate oh, guy on YouTube. Oh, he has like how all the different things work and stuff. That's and kind of astronomer, isn't it, Phil? Where is, is, is he on as well? Where? Platt, hey, Phil! Hey! Oh my gosh! <laughs> How are Stop you? Stop I'm pretty sure we did it's bad astronomer. I'm yeah. sure. Stop if it, if it mentions me, I'm sure I did. A thousand sure bits. <laughs> but I'll check it again. Wow! Dad, Stealthy a druid. Bits. What? Stealthy just gave us a thousand bits. Oh my That's god! Amazing. I don't know what that means. Stealthy, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Zeno said, "Oh, I thought David was letting him rip." No, yeah, it's thank you, Zeno. Definitely the bouncing ball. Um, uh, and you know, someone else everyone should watch, by the way, or listen to, or follow. Or subscribe to Arman, is thank Bad you Astronomer. For the 675 bits. Plate flat? I don't know how you Sorry, say it. 695 <laughs> bits. One bit is one thing. Say it fast in the one. Say it fast in the one. Yeah, that's right. Um, all right, so Bad Astronomer, Please. another one to add to our oh, list. Please. Thank you very much thank for coming, you, Phil. Phil, by the way. Now yeah, we will appreciate know. It. <laughs> now, we shall. I'm subscribed to his. Um, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's good to have you. Is here. it on Patreon I subscribe to that? I somehow, I subscribe to um, Bad Astronomer's Bad, um, do, well, definitely uh, newsletter, which is I amazing. I do love that you share Baz with each of you. What's uh, this? I actually love Baz's love, love of tech, tech, with tech for them. Yes. Yeah, except Baz doesn't have a love of tech. Zata. Baz has a love of streaming. Thank you. And gaming. Love love of... Oh, it's the newsletter. It's not Patreon. So how do you, so, so yeah, he's got some really cool system where I just went in <laughs> and I, I got a couple of newsletters, yes, and then I subscribed for the year or whatever it is. Love so. his games. And Jack Dash was squashed. Okay. Who's All right. Should we go back? Yes. We're going back in. My ear kind of hurts. Uh, Baz, do you understand your dad when he gets talking fast? Oh, yeah. He's, he's just, he understands how to tune <laughs> he me out. him out, yeah. That's it. All right. The final eight it's minutes. Is that it? My God, this has gone by so fast. Final uh, eight minutes and 11 seconds. Okay, go for it. Devil's Play, thank you for the 500 bits. Oh my gosh, thank you, Devil's Play. Dev's Play, not Devil's, Devil's Play. Play. Dev's Play. Devil's What? Why did we get the DHD from Antarctica? In season seven, when you go to Atlantis. Wait a sec, why didn't we get the DHD from... Isn't there a DHD in, a, in Antarctica? Mm. Okay, bye bye, Joseph. What, who's Thank going? you for sticking with us. Bye, Joseph. Wait, oh, Joseph. Oh, Joseph. Well, look, thank bye, you so much Joseph. for coming by. Thank you for coming don't, by. Yeah, don't forget Dad's meds, that's for sure. Um, and uh, we'll be here for a little bit longer. Yeah, we'll watch the end of it and chat for a bit. I'll answer some questions and, you know. 
Jane might take off. We got a temporary DHD. That's the thing. Dial home device. That's how they actually control them. The DHD in Antarctica was broken. What? Exactly. Resign. It's the Nazi DHD from World War II. Okay, then don't resign. Ah. How can they reopen the gate if there's a fault anyway? Well, it's not a fault. It's just that they'll reset. I think it resets because they'll put a new DHD. Well, I think. <laughs> you jerks, you're gonna kill Teal! Don't go through the gate! What's so Delancey? important that they have to go to That's Harriman right there. Yeah. That's the that's the Chevron guy. Ooh, he got a fancy thin screen. No, Tilk! Is Tilk gonna I die? think she's gonna think of something really suddenly. Tilk! I don't even know who you Chevron are. Chevron one is your code. Like I won't even be able to see you. See for that Stargate? I'm sorry. I think that Stargate kicks our butt. Ours looks like a disco ball. This one is like... Gah! Thank you for the 100 bits, blue Is that why the phone was ringing? Um... We're, we're Chevron set 5. Hurry up, talk faster! Chevron 6 is encoded! Stop talking! Whew! Thank goodness. What? What? Shoot him. Don't touch Delancey. What's he was like doing? writing an opera when I met him. Like he's literally like just, oh, just writing an opera or. Damn it. <laughs> oh, that's before I had my teeth fixed. Look at my teeth, I've got little... Watch my teeth. I can't see your teeth. No kidding, it's very powerful superconductor. How did O'Neill get back in time? Amazing shirt. Yeah. Russia. Not go to Russia. What the food's like in Russia? <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to Russia. This really sucks. <laughs> My last they line. Running. They decided to bring me back. I'm running off to go and cry to somebody, I think. Boy, I really was a jerk. You're a smart ass. Did they know they were going to bring you back? No, I don't think so. There you go. That is some serious <laughs> crystal work. Some serious weightlifting. I know, it's like, it was really heavy for him, and she just looked at like one hand. Wait, wait a sec, don't open it up. Isn't all the explosion going to come through as well? Coolest gate. Was Someone's really got to build cool? this. I don't remember the set. Oh, it's gorgeous. The set's great. It actually rotated. Mm. They had like buckets of uh, of dry ice that they used. Sparks never a good sign. Oh, there you go. What's going on? No kush. <laughs> Obviously not affecting her eyes. Tilk. <laughs> what did I He's miss? Back. <laughs> But where's all the explosion around him? 
Another damn handsome man. Look at that <laughs> gun! Like, seriously! Oh, boy. Ooh, uh -oh. you blew up Russia's DHD. <laughs> oh, the simulations! <laughs> TLC! Indeed. Danith is dead. <laughs> Again. They're just gonna put that gun down over there. Oh no, they picked it up again. Look at that. Hmm. Extra sparks. Oh, that's it! That was my first episode that's of Stargate! So done. Wow. How wild is that? <laughs> there we go. It's Dan Shea, of course. Mm -hmm. Michael, Michael Elliott. Elliott. Yeah, oh, fantastic. He was on Paul Nibet. Weber, yeah. Carol Kelsey, who I don't think I ever met. <laughs> Lenny, really? Mazzell, oh. Joel Goldsmith. Oh my god. Andrew Wilson. Put the. <laughs> Oh, oh, so we so remember sorry, all these I'm people. So sorry. Wow. Oh. The Davidsons. Yeah, yeah the Davidsons. So many Nikita, Nikita. Nikita. second unit director. Second unit director, Andy Nikita. Will Waring was the camera. Will Waring, of course. Jan, Christina, Christina McQuarrie. Oh. Ivan. I mean, I can't quite keep up many. with everybody, but Michael so many of these people helped us out on a dog's breakfast, oh. too. Next one, you should do Michelle, it. Michelle, JJ. Jennifer Johnson, JJ. Devon. Oh. And Sharp, Patterson. Sharp Sound, and Rainmaker. Rainmaker. Oh my gosh. They're all amazing. Burtley said, okay, we want to know what Baz thinks. Alright, let's get Baz's this. perspective on this. Ready? <laughs> I'm going to stop it. Um, so again, let me just, before you do that, I'm just going to say again, thank you, yes. everybody. I can't believe people are actually even doing above and beyond with the bits and the subscriptions and everything. But oh. thank you so, so much for this. Yeah. Um, I think we have to do this again. I think we have yeah, to do this again. Yeah, that was yeah. so much fun. Um, we have to start at SG One at the beginning though, because I'm like totally lost. <laughs> I, got this, I, I, I haven't watched as You'd many as you guys. You'd be pretty totally yet. lost. To be Nearly two hundred views. Yeah, one hundred ninety-nine totally yeah. viewers right now. Rodney McKay for God Emperor. <laughs> sure, I'll take it. All right, yeah, Bradley, what do you think? I really liked it. Um, You're the worst liar. Need to do one of these with Kate. That's true. Yeah, I invited do Kate, it. but she's not. She's like. She's like. Jack's very but happy to be a part Florence of this. Florence Nightingale right now. Yeah. I, I really <laughs> like it. I actually thought that was quite fun. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you understand what was going on? No. Okay, no. well, that's good. I'm still a little confused with the characters. I know yeah. Teal, who's yes. angry. Teal, who's angry. Is he always angry? No, he's always just kind of, he's, he's very, he's like serious. emotionless yeah. almost. Emotionless. Which is so funny because that's so far from what Chris Judge is like in right. any way. Yeah. Chris Judge is like a party animal or was, or I don't know. Do you think he'd want to watch Stargate from the beginning? Maybe, but my dad's not in it. I like what you think. But still. Yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Celtic Druid. Stealthy for the 4,000 oh bits. My gosh. Thank wow. you. Wow. All right, so who has some questions? Who is a Patreon um, or a or a um, or a subscriber who's got some questions for us? Judge, sorry. Um, so if you have confusions, Chris there, Judge, yes, you was constantly moved, practicing. So the last two numbers get moved over. And he was amazing at. Uh, so two zeros. He seemed to be able to like fart out, on the man. That's the air of Oh wow! Okay. Wow. Atlantis from the beginning. So four thousand is mm. a lot because that's yeah. Could do that. You'll have to be careful letting him watch Children of the Gods. The uncensored version might not be appropriate for him. Uh, you know what, Dev's play? Baz has I'm been afraid, we yeah. are <laughs> way be too far already. Yeah, yeah. But that's right. It was on Showtime, right? So it was yeah. full frontal nudity yeah. and violence? I don't remember what the deal was. Could one, Baz. Pretty inappropriate. <laughs> okay, so David, what do we got here? Um, David, Favorite. can you talk about your bandits and how they are working on accessibility? Oh, yes, Ooh. of course, Backbone. Um, okay, so the tech bandits uh, were... Well, they are a little tech club that I started at a local school when Baz was there. And then Baz is no longer at that school, but people seem to want it to continue, so I kept doing it. And the idea was basically just to, to, to take away this idea that technology is like a black box that just works, that it's lots of little components that make it up. And so I wanted people to build their own PCs, 
I wanted them to be able to take stuff apart and just without getting in trouble. Um, because that's how I sort of developed a love for oh, electronics and science and stuff. So I started doing that at the I local school. Um, and then because yeah. of my uh, interest in my friend Q and his situation with um, SMA Type 2, I was looking into doing some kind of a documentary about, I called it Upgrade Required, or, or Q might have even come up with the title, um, uh, about uh, just how we could augment ourselves to become... Uh, well, it, it originally as a way of, of, of overcoming the um, disabilities that, 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 that he had. But then it sort of, I sort of realized it was so much more than that, that, that uh, you know, there was just so many different aspects of this stuff that I found fascinating. And I guess for, I sort of found this love of, of this, of sort of, of the augmented human in a way, um, and assistive tech in general. So I, I happened to mention that at some point to one of the kids at Tech Bandits, which was actually Tech Terrors when I first started. Um, in fact, I think it was a kid who had actually watched us on YouTube. It's watched one of my burn alerts or something, and had mentioned it. And um, so I started bringing in little robotic arms, and um, this wonderful teacher who we were doing it with had a friend who was blind, and she came in and talked about the technology she used, and we built little sonar sensors, and we walked around the, the library with blindfolds on and stuff, and that really sort of struck a nerve with a lot of people. There was, there was one little girl there who had a partial arm, and um, she had hidden it from people. Like, I mean, I mean, people knew it was there, but uh, or wasn't there, as the case may be. Um, but she she would hide it under long sweaters, and refuse to wear her prosthetic arms. So uh, she came in one day when we were talking about this robotic arm. She's like, "Well, my I have a robotic arm. It's in the locker." And I was like, "Well, so go get it." I didn't know what she was talking about. She came up and she brought this prosthetic arm. She said, "Let's take it apart." And I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't, you can't do that." Let's check with mom and dad first. Turns out she hated this arm. It was the wrong skin tone. I mean, she was she was Asian or of Asian descent, and and this this was a very pink and white arm that she'd been given. It did virtually nothing, and she was sort of yeah. It can go like that. It, it can just, do this. Yeah, we just open and close, like not even very well. Yeah, it was this. Right, but we had this little robotic arm over here, like the little I don't know if you can see the little yellow one back there. Just a really cheap little toy one. And so she was playing with it, and I was showing her how to program it with Arduino, and she just, it just caught her imagination in a way that I hadn't ever seen before. And all of the kids around her were also really excited by it as well, because they suddenly saw this connection between the technology and how it could help people out with what with their lives. Um, so I've always tried to have a little bit of an assistive component to, to the Tech Bandits. And now, this year, I want to do all assistive, because I want to team up with this, this school... Uh, it's McCordick Thank School out here in Toronto, things. which um, is specifically for kids with developmental and, and physical disabilities. Amazing place. And um, I just thought it would be really good for my kids, who are, sorry, <laughs> who are uh, uh, wonderful, but, but very sort of privileged and, and, um, and, and for the most part, very well-loved um, well uh, kids. Um, I thought it was really important for them to come and see... Uh, what other kids um, are sort of contending with and what the teachers are contending with there. Um, and also just how uh, amazing these kids are and the people who are, who are helping them to sort of live their lives. Um, and so I want to introduce the two of them and I want our kids to start using some of the maker stuff that we do to build things that will be Congrats. of assistive That's use to the bad. kids um, <laughs> at McCordick and, and elsewhere. Even if it's just to inspire other kids to see that you can do stuff for other people with these things. So... Very long-winded answer, but that's my tech bandits. That's what you're all here supporting right now. So, so if anyone yeah. wants to support my dad's amazing uh, tech terrors, please, in below our name everything, if you scroll down, there will be a link for Patreon, oh, yeah? which will support my dad with tech terrors. Well, and, and but subscriptions here and also. And subscriptions, definitely. Yeah. So and there's also t-shirts. We have t-shirts and merch stuff now. Yes. We have a store. There's an Iron Hand t-shirt. There's a Tech Bandits t-shirt. There's mugs there. Yeah. So Woody's, any of those. There's like everything. Any of that stuff that you want to pick up would be helpful as well. Um, but uh, but honestly, <laughs> I mean, it was not about getting more money out of you today. It was about saying thank you today. Yeah. So that was the. But thank you. But sorry. Thank you for doing that. That's great. You're the best marketing guy ever. I guess yeah. I can take these headphones off. Um, oh, that's better. 
Yes. Um, so yes, so questions, other questions. Okay, Patreon. Uh, what is your opinion that the ancients are basically humans? Personally, I think that's weird. Well, what? So humans from like five million years ago or something? Yeah, it does seem weird. I feel like they would be a different... Given their abilities and their intelligence level and where they... they I mean, maybe there's a bit of ancient in all of us, perhaps, but as there's a little bit of McKay in all of us. Um, what else we got? And then there's another question which I find really interesting. What's that? David, it, yes. would you come back if Star if the Stargate show was st uh, in the works? Absolutely. Yeah. From I mean, Stargate. Was, I had so much fun. Now, careful, because you were bouncing, and you're also bouncing Sorry. the camera at the same time. I did not um, know that. So, um, yes, after, without hesitation, yes. Uh, I would, you know, but I don't think I'd be running around off world anymore. I think my knees, my knees are too creaky. I think I'd have to do some more. I'd have to do some more. Uh, I'd have to do some more stuff at. Uh, I think at the base. I think more than anything else. But yeah, I'd love to see it come back. I mean, I had, you know, they were, they were. I had so much fun doing that show. Yes, there were frustrations. Yes, there was the usual, you know, office politics that goes with any job. But but at the same time. I love those people, I love that show, and I, more than anything, I just, I, I feel like I'd scored like the best character ever. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I love it. I'm I've got like, another question for you. What do you got, Bass? From Gillian Jillian. Love. Jillian. Jillian's Love, yes. What is your favorite McKay episode? Ha. Mine was definitely Rodney's. Dow of Rodney. Yeah. Dow of Rodney, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Jillian. Um, favorite ones is always a weird question for me, because I was actually lamenting this the other day. Um, because every... Episodes that I was in are very different than episodes to watch, if that makes sense. So, um, uh, some of them were more fun because of just the logistics of making the episode than they are um, Come about... On, duets was pretty great all right. Duet was fantastic. No, 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 duet was fantastic. Um, although, really, I was really stressed out because there's a lot yeah. going on there. It was tough to do. Right? So, you were playing two of you. So, I didn't necessarily I love doing duet, but I loved seeing duet and what happened out of duet, but duet was, it was a, it, it was like a nightmare. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, Grace Under so, Pressure was really fun. Grace Under Pressure was fantastic. Jane had to sit in for, Jane has a fun story. So, <laughs> so Amanda was breastfeeding at the time and would have to go off and feed the baby and Jane yeah. said, oh, I'll do the off camera lines. No problem. No, I, I think they, uh, you actually asked me. I did? Well, somebody on set did. Because I, we run lines all the time, yeah, right? And I would yeah. get to the point where I was as off book as he was, except I was playing everybody. Yeah. But oh, it just... Well, <laughs> yes, there you go. See, I was much better. Yeah, yeah. Except for when the camera's rolling. Right. Because I've always been... Behind, and, and even then, I was just the eye line, so I was... The camera was here. But you were in was, water, and there was so, a crew, and there's yeah, people and holding booms. It and, was... So I was playing... Carter. I'll hold that while yeah, you go. Yeah, you go for it. <laughs> so I was just supposed to do Amanda's lines off camera while David. So David had somebody human to act to um, As when he like was doing ball, the really yeah. emotional scenes, weren't they? Um, you bounced to the table again. And uh, anyway, the, as soon as they said rolling, I just my mind went completely. It was away, amazing. She got I so frustrated. I could not remember a single line, and David was just like. Just stand there, don't worry. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I said. Uh, I think you I said. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I. It was yeah. It was really humiliating because I am no actor, but. Uh, but it's true. She would have known the direct. lines perfectly from running them with me, and then as soon as you get into that environment, as soon sometimes. As you say rolling, yeah. Yeah, it's like I, people I'm, say. What's the hardest thing about acting? Is I say not acting, like yeah. not being aware of what's going on with the acting. All right, what do we got? Well, Next Marcy, question. Yes. Bye. Uh, she's apparently a screaming toddler. So a she's got screaming her toddler. And there's actually a question for me that asked, "Do you are you focusing on tech in your future, or like acting, or following my mom with like producing and directing?" Huh. I'm my dream right now is sorry that I'm shaking the table. No, probably <laughs> esports and Twitch. Yeah. Or fashion design. <laughs> fashion design. <laughs> so like makeup and stuff and stuff. You should do a McKay cosplay. Really? The fan base is mine. You, you know, should Bez do some alien. Has, Bez has a, a McKay. Oh my uniform god! We have the cutest little McKay. From uniform. when he was one year old. It's like this big. It's yeah, like. I doubt it would fit in. It's the cutest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think you. It wouldn't fit. fit a, it would fit like maybe one of your teddy bears at this point. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's um, my lizard. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. 
Uh, David, want to do a FedCon prep Atlantis marathon with subs? Ah, nice try, Bertram. So we'd watch the entire season before, not a chance. There's no time. It's like, it's in March or something, isn't it? Or May? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? The backpack was teeny tiny. The backpack was teeny tiny. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, and Baz, do you have a lizard? We have a gecko. Gecko? Yeah, we have a very crested cool gecko named Casper. Casper. Yeah, although I used or to call him Lemmy. 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 Used to call him Lemmy. Yeah. Because well, he's like he's yellow a... and he's adorable. Yeah. Monster or creation Lemmy. on makeup. That would be cool. If you could do monster stuff, that'd be awesome. Yeah. That Char. would be amazing. I that... love the replicators. I look at I've got the places I'm trying to build my own. Like I mean, this is like, you know, it's amazing <laughs> how many of these things suddenly show up when you let them uh, you know, leave them alone for a bit. Uh, David, come on, it's just five seasons. Just five seasons? It's only 1,200 <laughs> minutes, exactly. Oh, Seabass, thank you very much. Oh, something else we should mention in our, in our, in our love of Stargate thing um, is you should check out um, um, what Seabass and Ibrek are working on. Their, their game is, is amazing. And I, I always get the name wrong. It's, what is it, Stargate? Not Stargate Command, Stargate <laughs> awesome. Control, Stargate, what is it called? Ibrek, what's the name of your... Uh, of the game. What's the official name of your game? Stargate Network. That's it. Sorry, I always get... See, I told you I always get it wrong. Stargate Network. I got a little go at this in France one year, and uh, and they just kept going. It's amazing what, what they're up to there. So you should definitely go check that out as well. Please. Please do. Um, and uh, and then tell MGM to, uh, to get on board and do it properly, because how great would it be to have, like, a sandbox game of Stargate? It would be, like, amazing. Um, oh, speaking of games, the other one is... Uh, I think this year they're releasing the um, the Stargate uh, RPG, um, which is based on Dungeons and Dragons Fifth uh, Edition, and um, and I'm really hoping to be a, a gate master in that. That is the sound of, of coffee being poured. Just in case anyone's worried about that, in case everyone thought there was a bathroom just off to the side here. There you go, my lovely assistant. Boy. <laughs> It was All right, what are the questions, Baz? What do you got? Baz is picking the questions. What Try to pick is... from subscribers and Patreons, if that's possible. Okay. Right. Um, I'm just going to hop off again. first time I hear you speaking in English. Great. I hope it's not a great disappointment to you, b Ross. <laughs> what usually language got... do you need? To... Yeah, what would you normally be listening to? Man? Okay. I'm already I've got a, a good pledge question. on Patreon. Is there something else that I could do other than just pledging money? Are there parts you need, a web space, anything like that? Oh, thank you, Shammy. Um, let me give that some thought. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know right now. Um, I hadn't really thought beyond, beyond just getting enough money to cover, um, um, you know, just, just, just equipment and, and, um, and supplies and stuff to do things. Um, I'm definitely looking at, look, I'm looking at much bigger purchases at some point. I'd like to get a laser cutter, because I think we could, we could cut some really cool stuff for them to build. Um, and also um, a CNC router as well. Um, those are the two things I'm looking at right now. I'm not saying you should buy those for us, but I'm saying that maybe I'll do like a fundraiser for that or something to sort of kit us out with a neat maker space where the kids can actually start building stuff. Because I think we're going to need those kind of tools to build things that are, that are uh, polished enough for... The, um, um, uh, the, the the for people with disabilities because uh, you know you don't want rough edges you don't want you don't want f you know flecking paint and stuff like that you need it needs to be sort of built to last so I feel that by being able to cut out pieces of wood in a very smooth way like with CNC or uh, laser cutter that might be the way to go so those are the things I'm looking at right now um so, so thank you for the bits Joseph thanks for your bits also yeah I think it was it great too somebody mm. asked. Uh, David, have you ever played Halo? Mm. So, me and my dad actually went through a, a Halo phase. We did. Where we mm. played Halo Reach. Like, we would get home. I was much better at it than him. Yeah, go, keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, we both loved Halo Reach. We have, like, all the Halo games for the Xbox One. We, we do. bought that, like, bundle. But then I stole your Xbox One because I wanted to give and it to them. And then you stole the Xbox One. I haven't, so they, I didn't give it to them yet. Mm. So, you have, oh, Okay. So, yes, we have played Halo. I love it. And also, uh, did you know Halo Reach? Actually, mm. like, Halo has actually just come out for Steam on the computer. Ooh, you so did we'll mention something like that. that. So we'll be able to Steam it. Oh, okay, that'd be Xbox, probably better. Xbox, oh, Neutral Racer, who's going? Who's leaving? Sorry, someone's just leaving. Uh, Phil. Oh, Phil. Phil. Bye. Oh, uh, buddy, thank you so much. Maybe you'll um, join us for an actual, like, official uh, Bad Astronomer and McKay watch sometimes. That'd be amazing. Be and Jack right. is going to go and grab some tea and make sure we behave. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Yes, cheap edition. Yeah, it's true. Cheap edition on Steam. Yes. Very good. Yes, done, says Phil. Oh, good. Oh, that would be a good one, because Phil can explain all the science for us, <laughs> and I can make fun of me. Um, all right. What else we got going on? And again, everyone, Bad Astronomer. Check him out on Twitter, on Instagram. Um, uh, check out his website. Uh, and I say he's got a newsletter that if you are interested in space in any way, shape, or form, he is the guy to uh, subscribe <laughs> to. So do that. Five nights? Geezer um, Geek, goodbye. Geezer Geek, all right. Geezer Geek, thank you so much. Geezer Geek is one of our, should I say, oldest subscribers. He's definitely been around for a long time he on the subscription so thing. And also been around as long as I Pac have. So Mom there you go. <laughs> um, oh, Pac-Mom asked Pac Patreon says, here. Yes. Is there a way to make larger one-time donations? Uh, you, you need, need funds for funds larger for projects. Larger. Um, I, I will, will actually... Maybe I will try up. to add donations to the full on Twitch because mm -hmm. subs right now go half and half to Twitch and us, mm -hmm. and donations will go full through. The Patreon, so donations would be the best way to give money to Tech Bandits. Tech bandits. I would give a specific thing though. Like I think it makes sense to like like that's a great point, Pac Mom. I would say um, the best way to do it is probably to say like this is like we are saving up to get a CNC machine. Uh, yeah, here's what it costs. Here's where we're at with that, and go I, that route. I, I, uh, I can maybe create a Kickstarter. donation jars. There's actually a donation jar thing. That you there's can have a, to there's stream thing. labs. Oh wow. There is a opportunity. There's something you can make that shows like. <laughs> uh, it's a donation jar. Oh, cool! And it says we need this much money. There's going to be a little bar underneath it, and it, it shows, shows how much money we've made Sweet. and how much more money we're going to need. Luckily, I'm so raising another. So I can create That's that. Perfect. Stream <laughs> lab. Bye, okay, Bertram. Great Thanks for coming in. Bye, Bye Bertram. Bertram. Thank you very much. Or Kickstarter. Good point, Bertley. That's another one we could do too. It's just another campaign, and I just it's even with Patreon, I find it hard to keep track of. Like, I got to look at Patreon now. I got to look at. Um, yeah, you know, was it crowd, whatever it was that I was supposed to set up for this, this video thing, but it was going to end up costing a lot of money and I just thought I'd rather the money go to the bandits than, than PayPal to a, a company. PayPal link maybe below? PayPal link? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we could that's try true. that. I can try. So what does a PayPal link do? People can just put, just, just put money in the PayPal uh, account? It, not I've exactly. stolen your coffee, sir. No, it's fine. You have it. I've had two of them. Hmm? PayPal mm. links are basically where it says, I'd like to send this much money to... This person's ah. PayPal account. Well, Dev's Play says, set that up, Baz, and you have my pledge to be one of the first to throw his coins <laughs> in the no pot. Box. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, <laughs> there's a PayPal donation. Oh, that is great. Boy, you got, how are you so good, all so good at this whole kind of donation thing? Are you all doing that? I've go seen fund a me. lot of things. Again, go fund me. I just feel like it's just another website people are going to join up for, and I just, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. That's why we did the Twitch stream today, but it's because I realized that in this sort of, I'm trying to just show that I'm, I'm trying to show that my that it's it's you know it's about to, what you've I done for us, um, but uh, uh, I didn't want to make it more complicated than it needed to be. So what do we got? Cal just asked, "Don't set that up, as your parents don't have to." What's that? I don't know. Um, I don't somebody know else. Don't about. set that up, as your parents have to. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you, Cal. I'll... Oh, I thought that don't have to. I was <laughs> very confused. Cal, Cal so... had a great night last night. I think. Good, a good New Year's, Cal. <laughs> PayPal, it's illegal at your age. Cal, welcome. This is the dark cloud known Who's as Cal. Who's your favorite My Hero Academia character? Oh, yeah. Bakugo? No, it's Himiko Toga. What is it? I can't choose. No, no, it's hard to choose. Well, you can only, you're allowed one hero and one villain, I guess. Okay. My favorite <laughs> hero is Bakugo. Favorite. Or Kirishima, it's starting to become. Which one's because Kirishima? Because he's the Red Riot. He's the guy who's able to Oh, the pardon. Ah, yeah, yeah, right. Have right. they seen your uh, Bakugo outfit for Halloween? Oh, my God. It was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh. Boy, is it cringy? You find it cringy? Yeah. It's, no? I feel like it's my amazing. Hair, At this age, you're cringy. My hair was a little too much, and I look, I look very serious. Oh, so let's show everybody. Here you go. Now it's good. Is that good? Closer. 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 Uh, it's just closer. reflecting your screen. Closer. Closer. There, there you go. There you go. It's hard to see. I think Mom, I posted one. Mom, look send it to me. Dude, you look like a freaking <laughs> super Send it to me and I can send like it to the Discord. Oh, okay. Um, um, I would come to so Comic Con. I would come to Edmonton Comic Con in a shot. The weird thing is, I never the get Canadians invited to never Canadian. Invited. I never get invited to Canadian Con. It's the weirdest thing. Bye, B. Who's John? 
Um, sorry, gotta go back up. Oh, BG, BG D Mom, oh. gotta run. Goodbye. Lots of love right back. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> Future movie credits. Fantastic. Um, Great cosplay. Oh, California Con. Boy, do you, that's another one I'd like to be invited to. Yeah, right. I have not been doing a lot of conventions of late. Um, I just found that it was just feeling. It was just feeling wrong somehow. I just didn't feel right about it. A couple of ones came up. FedCon, I just, I've got so many friends now in Germany. A lot of them thanks to Twitch. Um, and um, I thought maybe I'd be able to drag Baz to that as well. Um, DragCon again? What? Um, yeah. Dragon Dragon Con. Con. Oh my god. DragonCon is insane. But I, I lost like, my pop figure. I lost my pop figure at DragonCon. <laughs> yeah, I'm but it sure wasn't DragonCon's fault. Mm, true. <laughs> yeah. Um, you had a pretty wild and crazy turn. Uh, I think you need a uh, second one. Is it? Uh, to rotate this place is so true. There were a couple of people who were asking about Doctor Who or James Bond. Which one would you do? Doctor Who. <laughs> Doctor James Who. Bond. I so don't fit. The only time yeah. I'm fit into, into James Bond would be like as Q or something, or a Q's yeah. assistant. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I could make James Bond somehow, Q. unless you did it in a sort of a Mr. Bean like way. You know, like more like a Johnny English than a James <laughs> yes. Bond, I think. But Doctor Who in a second. Oh my God. I'd love to be a Gallifreyan at some point. Mm. Gallifreyan, that's where... Dragon Con from. is the one in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Australia oh, thank you, Midnight Mania. Comic Con, I think. Midnight wow. Mania. Thank you so much for Oh, love Stargate and Sea of Thieves. Oh, good combo then. Midnight, thank Stargate you. Stargate and Sea of Thieves. That's great. <laughs> Chicago. Well, I'm coming to Chicago. I'm doing Chicago this year and FedCon this year. You are? Chicago, yes, because mainly because I got told off last year for not doing it because of... Um, Lynn. Lynn. Uh, Lynn Indy uh, said, uh, "You're not coming." She she went. To, uh, one of our one of our best friends went to the con, and I wasn't there. I hadn't I hadn't said yes to it this year, but I am doing it this year, so I'm hoping she'll be able to go again this year, and we'll actually get to hang out. So. All right, it's tea time. Tea Megalodon time or Megalodon time? time. Not yes. sure. All right, Jack. It is, certainly is. I think we should. We should probably wrap this up. How long have we been going for? We've been. Uh, oh, I got it. Oh, Baz is gonna do his. It's do actually his. Jack's code, but Jack set it up. He set up our night box. You do. Up time. And it and says up been time up for, is and so an one hour, hour and 27 minutes. minutes. So wow. An hour and 30 minutes straight. That's, That's pretty good. good. That's fantastic. <laughs> is there a way to gift you a game on Steam? Oh my God, Larry, thank you so much, but don't bother. No. We have, we have, we have Steam credit galore. Bass has a ton of Steam credit. I have now. like, so yeah. And yes. so bad, like, please don't. Please you know, don't. Yeah. It's very Same kind of you, but don't, we don't need game stuff. That's we don't need games. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't <laughs> they about do stuff. not need any more games. <laughs> yeah, this is not. And again, this isn't about like if this. I mean, obviously, it's about us to some extent, but it, but I think it's more about we want to do stuff with this, not not uh, not just <laughs> you know not just not These just guys get already present. spend plenty of it's time true. down here. I think you'd make an awesome Doctor Who. So do I. You would be oh my God! I wanted to be Doctor Who for years, but you know what? It's the old white man thing is not. It's not the way to go anymore. I think I love yeah. what they're doing with Jody. Jody. Yes. Jodel. Jody. I would love Jody. to send um, you guys. And a and holiday. also, I really, honestly, my favorite of the new guys was Matt Smith. I love Matt Smith. I thought he was fantastic. Is that something that I can do? Interesting. Thing. Ruby cares. Ruby K said, "I'd love to send you guys." Holiday or Christmas card, is that something I could do? Oh. Online. Yeah, we got to figure online, out. Yeah. We do online, that's easiest, yeah. You Someone said I should set up a PO box, but that just seems like such a pain. Do we have to worry about people showing up or something? Or I guess we could use a business address. Do that. Care of the business address? Who uses mail? Who uses mail anymore? It's true. Um, so, uh, like to a fan mail address. I don't really have a fan mail address, it's so true. We should have just, a fan I, mail. I sort of gave up on the fan mail thing because it was, first off, it was incredibly time-consuming, incredibly costly. I'm sending cards um, to for you, a for you and for 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 me. Oh, cool. um, and so I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'll, I'm we happy should. to spend that time online rather than than trying to go through paper stuff because then you're spending. Or you could just. We could say like, oh, this is our local mail place, mm -hmm. and then just say send everything. No. You can't doesn't really work that way. I don't know. Jane is Mom's better Mom's not approving. No, it's not about approving. It's about getting it to work. Watch, you're going to be covered in hot, in hot, hot coffee. Hot coffee. All right. I'm Stealthy Druid that. is the one who made the suggestion about the P.O. Box. Yes. I guess I can look into that. Um, but uh, Ruby K, thank you. Um, do you want to, you can, you can, um, you can message me about that if you want. Um, what's going on? Great to catch your stream. I usually miss it being from Ireland. Ireland! Ireland. You know that I can be Irish? 
I actually could get an Irish passport. My father was born in Ireland. Really? I'm thinking about doing it because then at least I'll be back in the Wait, EU again. Wait, then could I get an Irish passport? You probably I don't could. Think it goes that way. Doesn't go that way? Yeah. No. No, but if I had a no, but if I had a British, if I had an Irish passport, could I not? I don't know. Let's find that out. Oh, I'm Irish. Do you have any other siblings in the film industry? Do I have any other siblings in the film industry? No. No, that's it, right? You know? The others are far too sensible. I have a British passport, I have an American passport, and I have a Canadian passport. You so do I! Yeah, and so does Jane! Yeah. I can just imagine you setting up a P.O. box and then sending you a whole CNC machine for you to carry over. <laughs> 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 that might make You know, Dev's play, I'm willing to, I'm willing to have that yeah, joke. If, if yeah. that happens, I'll take that joke. That's it. <laughs> Where's Cal? What's it? Yeah, I need to scoot in a minute. This is great. You're a lovely bunch, and David, of course. You're really bunch. I thought you meant except David, of course. Is what what Cal really meant. Cal, we love you. Thank you very much. Gatorade, very good for hangovers. I'm just saying. Um, okay. Dad, you're so mean. <laughs> uh, how's the big memory machine? What? So yes, basically Jason Bourne. Oh, Jason Bourne. Yeah, yeah. I love Jason Bourne. Yeah. I'm like Jason Bourne without any of the moves. I got all the passports, none of the moves. Yeah. He's British. He was born there. Oh, plasma machine. Oh, my God. Wouldn't that be great? Plasma cutter? Full-size Stargate. Full-size Stargate, yeah. I kept this, I, was I spent the whole this... of that 48 hours episode wondering how they got, if they weren't using the Stargates, how did they get to and from Russia so quickly? If we had more and time. South Dakota, for that matter. If we had more time, I wanted to somehow position this so it looked like, look at that. See, wouldn't that have been cool? And make I can it look... set this up. Nice be really kind of cool, actually. Oh, I, yeah. down I have to go down a little bit so you see more of the top, I think. Very difficult. But I was thinking about doing that and then adding some lights. There's a great little backdrop then. Okay, I obviously have no sense. Can't get that right. Yeah, um, yeah see? <laughs> Special effect improvement. Serious Thanks, effect. Um, Drawn overlay right. like that. You have a used plasma machine, Jeff Lex? Where are you? Are you in Canada? <laughs> when you say used, do you mean it hurt someone and you had to get rid of it? Like, what? <laughs> Um, 3D render of the spinning gate. Oh, oh, sea bass. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. Yes, sea bass. If you can get us a 3D render of the spinning gate, and we could put it, that would be amazing. You have it as an overlay. That'd be awesome. Baz, where can you see pictures of your what? Are you allowed to tell us anything about your Guillermo project? You mean the Guillermo project I'm not allowed to tell you about? Nightmare Alley. Um, I got the cutest little email from Guillermo saying, would you do a day on my new movie? And I was like, what are you, who are you kidding? <laughs> like, of course did, I would. You would have done a day of craft service. I would have done a day. I would have, got, I would have brought people sandwiches. I would have held his coffee. Yes. I love that guy. So I'm doing a day with Bradley Cooper, I think, um, in February. And, uh, that's, about what I can say. and, and that's all I can say. Yes, yeah, I, I will I, but send on the art channel and Discord. Guillermo is like the sweetest man. I, he's like the Gandalf of Hollywood. I love that man. I he is. I would do. I do anything for him. He's just. He's a wonderful, wonderful. He is a true artist in a kind of a, in an almost, magician like. Four hundred amp plasma torch. Holy, a four hundred amp plasma torch. Holy cow! Where are you, Jeff? Where are we coming to pick it up? My wife will kill me. Mm -hmm. No, you won't. <laughs> You're not welcome to this stream anymore. Um, is there a story behind you just born there like you were in the UK? Is your dad Irish? I think it was something to do with the war. I think he was. I think his mum was over there during the war. His mum was evacuated. He was evacuated to Ireland. I think that was the case. And so, yeah. Kent. Um, Captain Calvin Cat says, what does a 400 amp plasma Burn torch stuff. do? It cuts through anything like butter. What, Wait, are, you doing? what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, it's Casper. Oh, uh, it's Casper the Friendly. I'll send here. The yeah, only reason I'm going to be on my phone is because I'm sending a picture of Casper to the Discord. My favorite co-star to work with was, was I think, Rod. <laughs> like, I, like, I like playing against myself. That's not true at all. Um, <laughs> it's almost impossible it's to impossible. say. Amanda, Amanda, I think, has a, a place in my heart because she was the first one. And she was so welcoming. Um... It was just always, always lovely to work with her. I, I loved working with Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson on a daily basis. I loved working with Flanagan, Momoa, um, Jewel. Rachel, Jewel. All I mean, God, it's endless. McGillian. I, we had so much fun. No, I don't have a favorite. I don't have a. Fa I really don't have a favorite. Um, I, I just they're extraordinarily ridiculously great. 
Uh, Jeff Lex, it can go through a three inch steel plate. Oh my god. Um, oh, purple, purple milk. Purple milk. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for the five gifted subs. Well, and more. 25 emotes shared. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. So much. Joe Flanagan is a huge surfer. That guy lives yeah. for surfing. It is extraordinary. Um, and skiing. And skiing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what are my goals for 2020? More streaming. Really enjoying the streaming. Um, I have a bathroom upstairs to renovate, which I think I should film because I really need to do another. <laughs> I need to do another sump pump video. We should put up LEDs. Chic versus geek. Like we should do live streaming of me wrecking my my. James Lutz, thank you for the yeah. hundred bits. Thank, thank you. Much. Um, I got a Stargate photo signed by Flanagan and Momoa this past year. I still need three more on it. Well, whenever I see it, I'll sign it. Um, McCabe's name checked by Bill Nye on Yeah, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's well, that's cool. because of uh, Garo, right? Yeah. Garo, who's another. Well, wow, boy, he was. He and was Bill lives in New York, doesn't he? Bill lives in New York. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all right. Garo. I should wrap this up. I have kept my family long enough. Um, all right, David. I'll be happy the day I can understand eighty percent of your speech. <laughs> <laughs> Um, does speak I'm fast. sorry, it's true. We're gonna That's pretty good going for a na yeah. native English speaker. So. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, Baz is looking at our nightbot again. Thank you, Pat One. Uh, you, thank you scratch sure. my sci fi bug now, and I'm going to have to itch it. Uh oh, sorry, Mr. Deadly Eugen. Um, I'm going to board a plane. Got to get out of the snow. Yes, very smart, Burley. Where are you going? Jane, Baz, David, thank you for sharing your time with us. Ah, oh, you're welcome. I, honestly, it so really much fun. fun. It really was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, have you seen Jason's show? See, no, we haven't yet because we don't have Apple TV. The Apple, whatever it's called, Apple. Is that the TV show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Thank yeah. you for the sub, um, Sam. Eighty-seven. Thank you, sub. Sub. Thank you, sub. Thank you, Sorm. Thank you, Sorm, for the sub. That's a hard one to say. Um, what morph is Casper? Morph? He's a morph. He can morph. Morph is Casper. How cool would that be? Casper is a crested gecko. He's a crested yes. gecko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, everyone, thank you again. So you're saying thank you to me, I'm saying thank you to you. I'm going to say goodbye to because to turn it off is over there. Okay, so. you're going to turn it off in a second. But I'm just going to say once again, thank, thank you very you. much. Cheers. If you like this kind of stuff and you want to watch me and Bradlett Gaming, come out hang out here. We do it as much as we possibly can. Um, and uh, again, thank you to the Patreons. Uh, thank you for the suggestions on how to maybe pursue some more equipment. Fun equipment that my wife will not be happy about. Everyone. Um, because then I can set this whole place up. I should do a tour at some point. Where you can see what I'm doing here because I'm basically taking the entire basement and turning it into a makerspace we should and a garage make as well. This place like LED covered. Oh, we got to get some we LEDs. We should make this. Baz got the coolest LEDs for Christmas. Like. Yeah, we got LEDs on the wall up here this and down is like here. Mega nerd. But then if we have that Stargate we need thing Ultra nerd. and the Stargate in the foreground would be so cool. Thank Anyways. you for the fun. Jonas. Thank you, Jonas. No, that's Joe R. That's Jorb. Jorb. Someone. Jorb. I, I yeah. thought that said Jonas. So sorry. It's Jorb. I can't read it from here. Jorbs. Jor that's probably why. Jorbs. I can't say that. I'm afraid. McKay forever. Woohoo! Thank you for that nice stream. Thank you, Patty Key, for saying so. Patay. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Jill, I don't understand the bits and the emotes. Neither do I, Jill. Trust me. Thank I get you, Jay Flex, for the hundred bits. It's all good. That's what it is. That just means that, yeah, people can sort of donate stuff through that, and it's, it's yeah. I love Twitch, i got to say. I really enjoyed YouTube, but YouTube was a process of making and posting. This is about actually interacting, and it's just, it's amazing. It's I'm amazing. waving this thing. We're tremendous, apparently, according to Starga. Starga. Hey. Um, all right, we're out of here. <laughs> Captain Calvin Cat knows how we, how we always end these things. Come on, come and say cheerio before we, before we okay. turn it off. All right, so until we geek, geek again... again. Cheerio! Thank you very much. Happy New Year 2020. Woohoo!